this is interesting, super fun, and also hard. <laughs> so this is from your homework. As I can see, it says that. So I guess it's from your homework. Uh, Z is 3x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. X and Y are also functions. And all of them now depends on two variables. So I would put a huge box for the main thing. And just like before, I will do blue box for X. And now X has U and V and Y uh, variable. So X is 3U plus 2V and Y is 4U minus V. Make sure you have different letters for U and V. Sometimes people do this. There's no difference. I don't see a difference. One should have a tail, at least a little bit. Just put a tail. The other one is V or like that. But I would not use this one because it looks like a new and we use it in heat equations a lot. Okay, we can. I can ask you literally anything. To ask to, to find anything. Uh, derivative, derivative of the original with respect to X, sure. Derivative of the original with respect to u, yes. With respect to v, yes. Or derivative of x with respect to u, and so on. Some of them are partial derivatives, some of them are not. So, I would like to go here. I will show you some heat equations later. They have lots of cool applications as well as partial derivatives. In general, for you to know, uh, you take classes in differential equations, right? But... There is a whole class called partial differential equations. It's the whole science uh, which uses the uh, equations with partial derivatives. That is the idea. Okay, let's do that. All of these are solved from your homework, so I want to show you how to do it. First, I usually rewrite x equals 3u plus 2v. You don't have to do it, but I like it to be on one on top of each other one. Visually, I feel it's better this way. I'm creating a system, just rewriting it. Then sometimes I even number them. Equation number one, equation number two, and the main guy is in the box. That's Z or F. Now, what if I'm asking you question one? Partial derivative of Z with respect to U, just random. Now you have to think, okay, so I look at Z first. So. This level tells you where to look. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, first box, right? Z has a polynomial and it has X and Y. Where is U? Hmm. So now I have to dig inner into X and Y. Well, apparently both X and Y have U. So I will have to dig in each. Uh, this will look like that uh, diagram. Z goes first. So I will differentiate Z with respect to x. Differentiate z with respect to x. Why? Because x has u inside. Make sense? And actually you can do it right away. Uh, people usually don't write down the formula. People just usually do it right away. So that's what I'm going to do. I will differentiate z with respect to x to dig down into the pocket of x. What is derivative of z with respect to x? So 6x minus 2y plus 0. This is going to be on your quiz today. So hopefully you know how to do partial derivatives, the basic ones. See? Done. Different color. And x has u inside of it. So it's going to be derivative of x with respect to u. I made a mistake and I want you to catch it. What do you think? Curly. Why? There are more variables this time. Exactly. Very good. See? Last time it was just T. Now it has both variables. So you're misleading the reader and also just not correct. This should be curly. It's a partial derivative. Partial derivative of X with respect to U because actually it has V as well. And we will ask you to find V. So you should be careful with that. See? And I'm finding it right away. I'm looking at equation number one. I like it this way more than reading in a row. I don't know. Depends on just the person. So what is derivative of x with respect to u? It's just 3. Exactly. Just 3. That's it. Good enough. Are we done? No. There are more u's in other variables. And if z has 5 variables and all of them have u, you have to go into each. And if z has 5 variables but only 3 of them have u, then you only go to those 3. So that makes sense. 
you go into pockets that has what you need. So let me show you the diagram. From Z, I went to X. From X, there are U and V. Those are my pants. I like to imagine them as a pants with pockets, right? And Z is in the middle, like so. But you can see it as a diagram. Most people, Americans teach it using diagrams, and I did not really like it. The way I learned was just like that. You just do it. Somehow diagram confuses people. And the whole idea that I have to know the diagram also scares me. And what if I don't know the diagram? Can I still do it? I don't know. There's some kind of self-confidence issue. Plus. Okay, well, now I don't have space. That was not smart. Uh, so I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, here. Plus. Plus. Can you tell me what plus? Plus what? D, Z, D, Y. Do you agree? We're going back. We're going back to the original Z. And now we're going to another leg of the pants. And that one has two pockets. So I will do first D, Z with respect to Y. And I will do it right away. I'm looking at Z and differentiating with respect to Y. It gives me 0 minus 2X plus 2Y. Amazing. Times, can you guess what's happened after that? 4. Let's see why. Par partial derivative, hopefully in green, of what? DY, DU. Sometimes people say partial Y, partial U. Oh, that's just faster in English, in English at least. And then I'm looking at equation number two this time. We did not use it yet. Derivative of that function with respect to u is 4, and I'm done. And I'm done here. How about that? So that's the idea. I'm literally doing the same thing for every variable. Pants have a pocket, x and y, left and right, right? And each pocket has sub pockets. So if you want to get a candy from the pocket v, you repeat the whole process. Let me show you again. Like so, if I want to get the, if I know the candies in V pockets only, but in each, I'm going to Z, from Z I'm going to X, from X I'm going to V. I'm going, and means product between each, or means, oh, I have candy in another pants, in another, yeah, pants, side of the pants. Or I'm going from Z to Y, and from Y to, oh, you see, that wasn't correct. That was U and V. And I'm going to V after that. Ask me, do you think that uh, makes sense? Is it ridiculous? Or like, I don't know. Most, yeah, people tend to like it, but you know, it's kind of, it's kind of messy at some point. Yes. Is there a way to get the final equation with U in it? D, Z, D, U. Ah, oh, good point. Uh, yes, I was hoping someone will ask. Do you know what the person, what uh, you just asked? <laughs> uh, the question is, well, dz with respect to du, and we have answer with x and y. Same thing as we did before. How to change that to be beautiful? Just plug x and y. Plug x and y. That's extra work, but actually, you, that's what people usually do. So you're right. You're right. Because it's weird why we have derivative with respect to u, but we're answering if u is viscosity, and we're finding something is depending on viscosity, like honey, the speed of the honey falling down is not the same as the speed of water falling down on the table. Honey tends to actually accumulate and create a spiral because of the viscosity. So you're like, okay, what is the speed with respect to viscosity? And then the answer is directions, X and Y are coordinates. That's weird. I want to know with respect to U and V. So you're right, we plug it in at the very end. Substitute. Plug is not a good word, I was told in English. You say substitute. X equals 3U plus 2V. Y equals 4U plus, minus V. Minus V, like so. Plug everywhere and the answer becomes beautiful. I have it in my notes and I, I don't want to do that. But now in this quiz today, I can also ask you to do what? Let me show you. So step one, you see, actually step one, this was the most important one, to find the derivatives. Let me put it in the box. That was really, really important. This was really important, to find a derivative. This is the answer, and then you plug in. Uh, 
I will tell you on a test if you need to plug in or not. And in your homework, they do tell you if you need to plug in or not. Yeah. Can this also be like shown as f sub u or something like this separate variable that you throw? F sub u. Okay, oh, yes. That's a very clever question. Um, the question is, is this correct? Can you tell me if this correct? Well, I already said it was a clever question, so I guess it's a spoiler. F sub u, it is the same. Yeah. Because we don't have to call it z. It can be called anything, and we don't have to call it f also. All those names are arbitrary. They can be g, mu, and some of them actually mean something in heat equations, energy equations, gravitational equations, and so on. But the third question I want to point out, I also, every time, anytime I can ask you to actually plug some numbers, dz or du at 0, 1, which is the same thing since you mentioned, that's very clever, I'll write down f sub u, that's partial of f with respect to u, 0, 1. This is actually when you need to know what we're talking about, 0, 1 is x and y, or 0, 1 is u and v. Since it's with respect to u, that's u and v. And then you plug the numbers, and we already calculated uh, everything. So since they're asking us to plug u and v, then you have to plug back x and y as u and v. Calculate them carefully, blah, blah, blah. And you get an answer. It's like lots of calculations over there. 18 in this case. How about that? Ask me. Look how It's like a short problem, but look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. People use this diagram. I don't like it. I feel like it's overcomplicating things. Uh, I don't even rememorize the formula. These formulas look like crazy and you have to memorize them. I don't. I remember how to do it. This is the case when I do not recommend memorizing anything. I recommend to understand the process. Then your memory will thank you. Because this is hard. Like, what is going on here? But, uh, just a second. What is going on? Derivative of z. Okay, now we're going into x. Okay, now we decide to go into v. That's what it is. So it's hard. I feel like for me, it's hard to navigate the diagram. And it is easier to navigate the formula from x to x, from y to y. And I know into what? Into u. But also just knowing how to do it is also better. That's it. Yes. That was just example. Yeah, thank you. I probably should do that. Uh, the question is where did the zero and one came from? Um, find, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like example to plug in. Yes. Um, so for that, the equation that matched that diagram that you were showing, it said and. Um, Let me see. How would you determine? Yeah. How would you determine if it's and or or? Yeah, that's a good question. So and is very smart. <laughs> And is whatever you follow on a tree. That's called tree. If you take a graph theory, it's those trees when, with branches, blah, blah, blah. And is this times this and uh, times that. Products. Or is when you get a new one. That's how you do it. Or. Does it make sense? If you have another branch separating, that's or. Same here. So and is when you don't switch the branch. You just keep going without jumping. If you create a new one, that's or. Good question. But again, you see, that's why I don't like it. It uh, makes it more complicated somehow. Now I need to remember more things. Which one is or? Which one is and? Instead of just knowing how to dig through the pockets. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good question. And I will uh, upset you that uh, I decided to give you 